What is up everyone? It's Token back with our Pokemon Moon Nuzlocke as we are still traveling through the Lola region and trying to make some ground here. We are in Tank Carrot Hill, which we did get our encounter in, which was the Rog and Rolo, who we do currently have on the team, but is not going to be a permanent member of our, of our team. So that's why you don't see it on a layout. Anyways, though, thank you all so much for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe. If you do enjoy this episode, it helps out the channel a ton, and I would really appreciate it. So let's just go right into that team preview so we can catch up anyone who's new or just make sure that everyone knows where we're at with Pokemon. So first in our party, we do have Jessica, the Cutafly, who has a moveset of Absorb, Fairy Wind, Stun Sport, and Struggle Bug. She is a level 14 right now and has that bold nature, so defense up, attack down. Then we have RJ, the Rowlet, our starter, still rocking with us. We've lost one Pokemon, and thankfully it wasn't our starter. Um, if you want to know what Pokemon it was, definitely go back and uh, check out some of those previous episodes. Anyways, RJ the Rowlet, level 16, with a moveset of Razor Leaf, Leafage, Astonish, and Peck. And he does have that careful nature of special defense up, special attack down. And then we have Mirror, the Alolan Rattata, who is a level 11 right now. One of our newest members, and has the moveset of Tackle, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Bite. And is going to be that docile nature. So that neutral nature, N nature, nature. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have Quinto Beans, the Alolan Grimer, who's going to have that moveset of Acid Spray, Poison Gas, Disable, and Bite, and is going to be a careful nature. So special defense up, special, uh, yeah, special attack down, and not bad, not bad, not bad. And then Rock's still with us. I'm just going to take this item. It is an Everstone. Oh, you slash give. No, no, I just want the item. Give me. Oh my God. All right, there we go. All right, so we're going to see what else is all up in Tank Carrot Hill. First, first things first. Okay, we are going to spray some repellent because we did already get our encounter, so I don't just want to run into a boatload of Pokemon. I do not. I was hoping that we could have maybe got a Rock Ruff as our encounter, but I um, I forgot the, the high chance of getting a Rog and Rolla in the cave, so I definitely should have... Uh, put some repellent on in the cave and then allowed us to um, allowed us to get our encounter on the outside of this cave yeah this way so we're just gonna snag all these items and then get out of here I don't think there's anything else to be done in Tin Carrot Hill so we get a nugget, that's always nice. Alright, alright. Acrobatics, not bad. So we're getting out of Tin Carrot Hill, and we are going to go. Uh, ooh, that was bad. <laughs> we are now going to go to the the last trial site we were at, because now we can break a bunch of stuff and collect some items. Actually, actually, I think we'll, we might just move on to the next island because I can always come back and do that myself. I just haven't had time to do it. I really just have not had time. So we'll heal up, snag a few items, and then move on to the second island. And deposit Rog the Rog and Roll off really quickly. One Pokeball, one potion. Do we need? Uh, I'll take three. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we do have stuff to sell. Doom, 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 doom. I don't plan on using any of the X items, so I will be selling them. I know that they could make our life easier, but it's just not... It's never been an item that I've ever used in my Let's Play. And we're not doing... Uh, we're not doing anything really different just because this is a Nuzlocke. We're going to play through it like it's a regular game, but just try to ensure we don't lose any members. So, I'm pretty sure we need to go to the the place where like the boats are. Like the dock of Ho Hoali City. So we're going to do that. As you guys can see, there is, uh, guys and girls can see, there is a new question of the day for everyone. Um, today's question of the day is going to be, uh, what Pokemon did uh, would you want to see get an, Alol well, get an Alolan form? As we had a very small amount of Pokemon actually get Alolan forms, and even the total amount of uh, new Pokemon wasn't mind blowing or anything or anything close to that. So, uh, what Pokemon would you like to see? get in a low end form maybe in a remake of these games as everyone is talking that stars is maybe a game that will come to the nintendo switch i'm gonna do this dialogue and i'll come back to the question of the day but yeah let's get this dialogue going whenever it pops up hey po pro hey profess are you sure this whole thing really seaworthy this old thing's really seaworthy hey now don't go calling my boat old she's not old Call her a classic. Well seasoned, yeah? <laughs> I quite like that it has a sense of history. Hey, Token. If you're all done with catching Pokemon and shopping, yeah? You want to head out with us? Yup, let's go. Oh, yeah. Time to sell away. Woo. But, which is a really cool scenery we got going on right here with really cool music. I d we are off. I don't know about uh, just literally sitting right on the ledge like that. That looks extremely dangerous. Come on, Grandma. Kick it up a notch. I'm not sure he's saying that. If we push the boat much harder than this, we'll all end up at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> You're probably just worried about your silly hat flying off. I wonder what kind of island a Akala is, huh? Seeing all of Alola for myself is half of the fun of doing the island challenge. Isn't isn't this just the best token? But yeah, um, it is being theorized, or it kind of makes a lot of sense that Pokemon Stars um, might be the like the Emerald or the what's another one. I can't even think of another one. Oh, the Emerald or the Platinum of Pokemon Sun and Moon, the, like the the second game that brings both games together. They um, it's already been theorized that that's going to be the game that's brought to the Nintendo Switch. First, we got the the whole um, animations of Pokemon Walking that wasn't actually implemented in this DS version of the game. So a lot of people are thinking with a system like the Nintendo Switch, which has a higher capacity to deal with all those animations it makes sense that that will be in the nintendo switch let's go back to this dialogue land ahoy all right akala island here i come isn't it a bit late to declare land ahoy after you've already arrived ashore what a stick in the sand help me out here token it, it was funny right i said it, it was supposed to be funny <laughs> what about what about you, Professor? The land is certainly a hoy, oh boy. <laughs> Still haven't managed to find a shirt that goes with your lab coat. Huh. Hmm, Kukui. I have a new character, it looks like here. I've told you you're gonna. I've told you you're gonna scare off strangers looking like that. Nebby, back into the bag. Don't sweat it, Lily. Why, hello there. Nice, nice to meet you all. I'm Olivia. Hey, thanks for stopping by. 
I'm Mala, one of the captains here. I was on my way to see who was pulling into port and ran into Mala here while she was out on a delivery. Yep, my trial will be a chance for all the fine ingredients for all the fine ingredients that make up your team to shine. Especially you two, your Pokemon look ready to cook with gas. And Mala isn't the only captain here on Akala Island, of course. So what's the plan, kids? Yeah, that's that's up to these kids. It's their iron challenge, after all. Yes, I suppose so. Okay, then. Enjoy your time on your island challenge, kids, along with your Pokemon. I'll be waiting for your chance to face you in battle. I'll be waiting for my chance to face you in battle when the time comes. I'm looking forward to seeing what you got. Let's go, Mala. Or Malo. Malo. I'm not sure. <laughs> Malo. I'm sure she wanted to come see that you made it here, all right. But she'll never admit it to you, huh? That's Olivia for you. She's a she's a kind Kahuna deep down. There are three trials here on Akala Island. If you two decide you want to take on a trial straight away, head up Route Four and keep on going until you get to Panuyo Paniola Town. Shoot! I know where I'm going first. That is straight to the Pokemon Center. I wonder what kind of masala they make on Akala, eh? Maybe. I'll see what about some shopping of my own. I should find out about the ruins for Nebby's sake too. Alright. You made it to a car, a big boy. This means a new island, a, new, a whole new island Pokedex. I'll try to keep up to date on all the new Pokemon you uncover, tokens. Thanks, Rotom. Guess we can go right in here. Anyways, though, back to the question of the day. So it is largely being—it's um, almost being accepted that a uh, a new game that is going to be like the emerald or the platinum of this generation is going to be made on the Nintendo Switch, and and that game is going to excuse me. Uh, that game is going to, uh, it's going to have the walking behind you animation implemented that everyone's been super, super advocating for, um, ever since it was first introduced in, um, uh, Soul Silver, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and it makes sense because a system like that, which has a larger computing capacity, can actually deal with that, with so many different an animations when you consider how many Pokemon there are are now. It'd be really ridiculous. Well, not ridiculous, but it'd just be so much work to for a DS to have to deal with all those diff different animations. We're good on the name right there. But yeah, so, and then considering that it was largely hinted that we'd be able to visit um, other regions in this game, and that it was hinted that... Um, There'd be more going on with Zygarde and stuff like that. There's just a lot of things we didn't get in these games. So a third installment or a final game that brings both of these two games together would make a lot of sense. Oh, oh, Telfin. Looking for the runes? Yes, this little fellow will hardly sit still. I think Nebby might be interested in visiting the ruins of life. Apparently they house the sacred guardian of Akala Island, a creature called Tapu Lele. I wonder if you'd like to come with us when we go to visit the ruins. I mean, little Levy here seems to like you quite a bit, Token. I'll be at Tai Song Hotel if you decide you want to come. I'm supposed to be meeting someone there. Someone very important to me. I'll be alright. I can see the building from here, after all. Even I shouldn't be able to lose my way, I think. And you? I'll have you stay in your bag, mister. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Arguably the cutest Pokemon to this date. I 
I've heard that there is a group of terrible people around who still who try to steal Pokemon, a group called Team Skull. We need to be careful if we want to escape the notice of such a collection of villains. Isn't that right, Token? Alright, alright. Anyways, though, like I was saying, uh, Stars, Nintendo Switch, it makes perfect sense when we didn't get, uh, when we were this... Spoiler alert, at the end of this game, we're not going to be tra able to travel to another region, and due to that, um, sure, you know the beach, there's a, oh, he wants us to get him a picky Mickey Mickey Yuku, however you say that Pokemon, it's too much for me, but, uh, yeah, we might do that, uh, off screen, and see what he wants to give us, um, I'll switch clothes. If I do switch clothes, I'll do that off screen. I don't really want to waste time doing that with you guys here. We want to do as much as we can in these episodes. So we are going to, yeah, let's just go to this next area. Stop right there. Ah, <laughs> we didn't mean to surprise you. You must be doing your island challenge. I'm Dexio. My name's Cena, a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. We're here seeing the sights in Alola. It's unique tradition of island challenge. It's fa it's pretty fascinating. I've got to say. Oh, I've got an idea. Why don't you test your skills with me? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's get this showed on the road. All right, we're going to have a battle against Cena. I'm pretty sure that was her name. Yeah, Cena. There we go. I think she's from Kalos. I Kalos is literally my least played Pokemon game. I didn't even I didn't even finish it all the way through my Pokemon X. Still need to go back and do that. As an endeavor for another day though. She's gonna have a level 15 Delibird. Oh my god. We're going to stay in on it and just go for an absorb and see how much we can do. Oh, forgot that's resisted. It's a flying type. There's decent damage. Oh yeah, I forgot some presents can just be healers. That's funny. Delbird. <laughs> Delbird's a funny Pokemon. Anyways though, yeah, so... It makes perfect sense that there'd be another game on the Nintendo Switch to complete these two games, and due to that, um, oh, due to that, there's the opportunity on the Nintendo Switch to add so many new Alolan forms, as, uh, I think Alolan forms were actually extremely popular, I think the general, uh, general consensus was that people did like the new touch of Alolan forms over Megas, I felt, uh, everyone really liked Megas at first, and then, after a while they got I still think people really really do like Megas even to this point but I felt like from a competitive standpoint Megas um they might have done a little bit more good than harm as a lot of Megas were either in Ubers and couldn't be used in all these other tiers or they just were they were just a little too powerful they had too powerful of an ability so it really hurt the usage of a lot of these Megas Well, I feel like a low forms they're just a new take on all these Pokemon. Oh no! That can take out. Oh my god! Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me! What? What? An icy one just fully takes us out. Oh my god! I have to disable that. Oh, and then of course goes for quick attack. Oh my god, I'm so sorry Jessica. I had no clue how strong this Glaceon was. Oh god, that's doing so much damage. We need that poison and we need it now. I'm pretty sure we can take one more icy one and then we'll heal with a super potion. <laughs> Gotta focus all my attention on this game now. Ooh, this Glaceon's powerful. It's 
still don't get that poison touch. Well, that really sucks. Kido Fight was putting in the most work, so we did just lose our second Pokemon. That really sucks. That's a bummer. I had no clue that it could just be practically one shot. I'm pretty sure that would have just one shot. If it wasn't for this careful nature, we'd actually probably be having a lot of trouble with this too, with our Grimer. As long as this doesn't crit, we should be fine now. Let me get the poison. Yes, there we go. One last heal. Oh man, sad days, sad days. Lost oh, Jessica. And the poison will take out this freaking Glaceon. I decided that icy wind can just take out a clear fly. Oh man. I was really excited to maybe get it to ball for him. That is unfortunate. Alright, thanks Senna for killing one of our Pokemon. I get it. Facing trials helps you grow close to your team. I think that's absolutely wonderful. I find like I feel like I've been able to have a glimpse of the island challenge. Let me heal your Pokemon as thanks. Thank you, I guess. I guess. You don't realize this is a Nuzlocke, though. Healing them isn't... That's not good enough. You killed it. You and your Pokemon are the ultimate team, no doubt about it. That battle reminded me of us in the past and that group of five young trainers. I've made up my mind. I don't trust this important item to you. The Zygarde Cube. Awesome. The item that I gave you is for collecting the cores and cells of a Pokemon Zygarde. I'll tell you the details another time, so please keep it safe for now. For your island challenge, it might not be a bad idea to go to Route 4 and train your Pokemon. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon, voy bon voyage, or however you say that. <laughs> My French is bad. Alright, well we gotta drop off Jessica now. But yeah... The Nintendo, a new game on the Nintendo Switch, Pokemon Stars, gives the Nintendo the opportunity, or Game Freak, the opportunity to make a lot more Alolan forms, or a good few more Alolan forms, and maybe finish off the Pokemon that we didn't get, as that Japanese Riddler who was getting everything about, uh, everything right about Pokemon, revealed that there was going to be a Snowball Pokemon of some sorts, and, uh, I mean Snowman Pokemon, and we never got that. So that hints that there might be some new Pokemon, and that also. So and then there's always also the chance of us maybe getting a uh, um, new Alolan forms, which I would really, really like. Cause Pokemon like Scrafty, oh my God, I thought Scrafty could have been an amazing Alolan Pokemon, but we didn't get one. Even the Fighting type, got one of these moves? No, I did not. Even the Fighting type Alakazam Alolan form looked beautiful. There was a lot that they could have uh, done with Alolan forms, and we only got a few. So I'm hoping that if uh, the Pokemon Stars and Nintendo Switch rumors do end up being true, I would love for uh, I would love for us to actually get uh, more Alolan forms because I thought they were actually a really really nice touch. To um, so I think that's yep, that's one of the Zygarde things. Sina wants to talk to you. Is you just received a signal from your Zygarde cube. That creature that you just that just got sucked into your cube is what we call a Zygarde cell. That Zygarde cube I gave you is like a mask for cells and cores. Your mission is to collect all the cells and cores. We'll be we'll get in touch. Born, born chance or whatever. But um. Yeah, and then Stars is also hinted at, spoilers alert, there's an event with the, I think that, with the mysterious old man that we met in, um, uh, doesn't say anything important, uh, there's an event with the mysterious old man that we saw in our trial, I think he's in the desert of this region, if you remember the mysterious old man, he was randomly on this little, like, trial path, he was right at the end of it, and he was hiding behind something, um, I think that same guy has in a mysterious event where you have to bring him like a, I think you have to have Lunala or Solgaleo, and then you have to have, if you're playing Sun, then you need to have, uh, not Lunatone, what's Solrock, you need to have Solrock, and if you're playing, let's get our Route 4 encounter, and it will be, oh, Lillipup, that's not bad, I guess it's not bad, but I would prefer something else, not bad though, Lillipup. 
Let's look back at the comments and see who we can name Lil Pup after before we dive too much into this. Let's uh, turn down my phone's volume because that is absurdly loud. Um, I need an alarm to wake him up this morning because I got work pretty soon, so I need to make sure I got up early. But, um, yeah, so there's the, um, there's an event with a guy where you can bring, you bring Soul, if you're playing Sun, you bring Soul Galio and Soul Rock, and then he ends up flying up into space, and that, and he says, uh, that he's not from this, uh, world, so that gives you the thought that Pokemon Stars even makes more sense, so... Everything, everything's pointing towards Pokemon Stars being reality, so I am hoping that we do get that game and get more new Pokemon in that game, and definitely get new Alolan forms. That'd be awesome. Let me just, uh, I think our first video hit the most comments. Yeah, 14. I know who I'm going, and it's a boy, yeah, I know definitely who I'm going to name this after. I just hope a razor leaf doesn't take it out. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below if uh, what Pokemon you would like to see get in the Lolan form in the new game, Pokemon Stars, which seems like it, oh, even a crit didn't take it out, which seems like it will be a reality for the Nintendo Switch. And also, let me know if you do plan on uh, getting a Nintendo Switch for yourself, especially if a, if a Pokemon game ends up being confirmed to be on the Nintendo Switch, will you be snagging that? So let's catch this. I probably didn't need to throw an Ultra Ball. Lillipup is registered. The, the, long fur, the long fur surrounding its face functions as a radar, enabling it to probe the condition of its battle opponents. Wow. The more you know. Alright, and we are going to be naming this little pup after my friend, Clark, who's really been supporting the channel. Thank you so much, Clark. I really do appreciate that to kind of support. You're awesome for that, man. You are awesome. So, Clark the little pup, let's keep on moving right along. Alright, and now we do have Clark the Little Pup added on to our team. Let's actually check out its uh, stats and everything. Alright, Clark is going to be a level 12 Lily Pup with the move set of Order Sleuth, Bite, Baby Doll Eyes, and Helping Hand. So, he definitely can use some new moves. And it is going to be Jolly, which I think is um, speed up a uh, special attack down. So, not bad for a Lily Pup. Not bad. We're going to go back, heal up, and I think we'll maybe do one trainer battle and then call it an episode. But yeah, I really do appreciate Pokemon. The Pokemon that they do ch they did choose to give an Alolan form for, they really did do their research, and they there's actually a lot of really cool. Uh, um, logic and science behind why the Pokemon that got low in forms makes sense for the for an, a, reg a region that's based on Hawaii as uh, the golden hair of the trio has a has a Pacific meaning to Hawaii the um, Golem turning into having a little uh, like hair on its face now and turning into an electric type it actually has meaning to uh, uh, Hawaii too I won't go into details about that but uh, definitely check that out for yourself you can either find a video on YouTube easily or just uh, look um, look it up on Bulbatube, Bulbatube as a uh, I think a uh, Bulbatube Bulbapedia <laughs> as um it's really 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 interesting in my opinion and it shows a Pokemon 
Uh, with the Pokemon that they do implement into games, they definitely do put a lot of time and effort into it. And I definitely think sometimes that does get overlooked. And people just want, oh, I just wanted this to get in a, an evolution. Or I just wanted this to get this. When they don't really realize how much uh, actual thought and time is put into the actual reasoning behind why some of these Pokemon end up being implemented in each and every Pokemon game. So definitely something cool to check out. We do have RJ in the lead. We're actually going to put our XP share on for a little bit because that that um, Glaceon scared me. That was actually ridiculous that it just one shot um, Jessica the Cuta fly like that. That was ridiculous. So we're going to put the XP share on really quickly. And then we're going to fight this next trainer. Yeah, I won't go with RJ. And this will probably be the end before we call it an episode. Challenge by Bellhop Jolly? Is his name really Jolly? No, Jody. I was like, is his name really Jolly? It's gonna have that cool little Drifloom. Drifloom. Okay, I was like, why did that do so much? Makes sense. We're slower than a drift loom, though. We are slower than a drift uh, flume, people. This next one should take it out. As long as we don't flinch, we don't flinch, and I should take it out. And yes, it. Oh no. Or no, it won't take it out. I guess I could have just been going for pegs, but whatever. For a second, I thought that was indoor, and I thought we were going to be sitting here. Alright, level 17. Two Pokemon at level 17. Just need those new members to catch up. That's why I put the XP share on, so hopefully they're able to catch up. We defeat that bellhop. Oh, oh, 17. That's an awkward level to be evolving at, but let's go. Our first evolution on screen was of a Pokemon that we lost literally bef in the battle before it evolved. So that was very, very unfortunate and a little heartbreaking to see. As we do have RJ the Relic evolve into RJ the Darktress. So that is awesome. Our first real evolution. And all right, now we have Dactrix on our screen, so not bad. Our first real evolution. Dactrix. It throws sharp feathers called blade, called blade quills at enemies or prey. It seldom misses. Not bad. So I guess those are the blades that are in our current spread of it, so not bad. Alright, so we are going to finish off the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode of our Nuzlocke, please do like, share, and subscribe. As like I said, that really does help with the channel and I would appreciate it. Anyways though, any just overall, thank you so much for tuning in. We're really starting to make some ground on this, so definitely don't miss out on any future episodes. Things will just get more and more crazy from here and uh, things will get much, much tougher. And... I'm going to get the heck out of here. I'll see you in the next episode. For now, peace out, everyone. Have a good day. Peace.